Hey everyone, what's going on? So, had an early day at work. Um, I actually didn't get to skate last weekend. I did a 42 mile ride on Saturday, and then Sunday I took the day off and it was raining anyway, but yeah, I didn't get to skate. Uh, I chose to ride on the nice day, and uh, it was really cool. I'm um, trying to like eventually be able to do some like 50, 75, maybe even one day do a century ride, but today, we're not talking about that. We're talking about frontside tail slides. And I've had a few people request uh, like a trick tip or trick advice uh, on front tails. I do a lot of them and I do variations out. I guess I want to preface this by saying everyone does tricks differently. These are just things I do and prefer to do. And maybe it'll work for some people out there. So uh, I don't claim to be like, this is the best way to do it or uh, I think I do them the best or anything like that. It's simply just me, um, yeah, basically answering a few of your comments and you guys requested this, so, and I did say I was gonna do it, so uh, I guess here it is. <laughs> All right, so first, clear out your spot, make sure there's no rocks anywhere. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna warm up. We're just gonna do, we're gonna do a couple 50-50s. Uh, some of the things that you're going to need to know, or I feel you should know, uh, again, everyone skates differently and does tricks in different orders and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, I would say a front 50, 50 is a really good one <laughs> to know. Uh, front five O's are good. And, uh, I think I'll get to that in a minute, but yeah, I think, uh, a front five O and a front 50 are the two real big port tricks and obviously front side one eighties and ollies. So let's get into it, do a couple 50s. <clears throat> I did just get out of work. Ugh. Oh man, it's actually kind of sticky. I guess that just like, let's get into it because I'm gonna need to wax it anyway. But then I wanted, I wanted to bring up a couple good points here. So first, You're gonna to wanna to be able to 50, like I said. So, you know, 50 stalls, good place to start. Uh, second, 5-0 stalls, 5-0s. <laughs> like that. Um, you can do it like this or turn it off to the side, doesn't really matter. But, so how I learned a tail slide is, <laughs> back in the day, I used to do front 50s and then just turn into a tail slide. Just uh, get the feel for it. So I'll do a couple now to show you. Again, this might not be the best advice, but this is what I did to learn front tails. But yeah, you can go slow. Ah! And just kind of stall it on the way out. Let me actually try to land one. Because a lot of the tail slide is intimidating is getting into it. So this is like a safer way to get into it. Like that. So all I'm doing with that is basically I'm getting into a 50-50 with my foot on the tail enough so that I can just kind of pivot to a tail and then just come right out. You can hold it if you want to slide and learn to slide. Um, but that's one way to get comfortable getting into it. Now we gotta talk about actually ollieing into it, right? So this one is there's no real angle you need to ride at it, right? Because you're basically doing a front side 180 and just stalling into a front tail stall. So I always recommend practice on a dry curb, right? And just get used to stalling. Ah. <laughs> It's hard when it doesn't slide, you know, if you're not used to it. Um, you could even just like, you know, if you don't just come up switch and try to stall up here to get the feeling of like the stall. There's no rules. But yeah, you wanna just like come at an angle, ollie into a stall. And when you get into the tail stall, right? Your foot wants to be here. You don't wanna to be too much on the tip too much in the bolts here because you'll slide out. Kind of just want to be dead center on it. And then I usually just try to keep my front foot basically over the bolts here. And that's pretty much it. You're going to want to keep your shoulder 
your, this, this shoulder, your left shoulder, or obviously for your goofy, your right shoulder, but you're gonna wanna keep your left shoulder uh, closed so that you don't go fakie. I learned how to do them to fakie first. So I always just taught them as, I, I always taught myself like it was a big front 180. Um, basically I was doing a front 180 and like just catching a little bit of it. I'll try and do one, it's pretty dangerous, but this is how I used to practice getting into them. Just kind of like that, like where you're just doing a front 180 and scraping it and getting out. So this thing is pretty dry and I wasn't getting good tail slides. I was just showing the basics there, but um, I guess I'll show you guys how to wax for a tail slide or what I do typically is my main contact point for a tail slide is here, like in this strip and wheels. You can see how dry it is. It hasn't been waxed in a minute. I haven't been here in a minute. I've been going to that other curb spot. But yeah, so we'll give this guy a waxing all the way down and then we'll uh, we'll get into some tail slides. I'll get them from a bunch of different angles, uh, slow-mo so you guys can see my foot placement and, uh, and then we'll go over some stuff after that. But yeah, let's get it all waxed up first. Uh, it's, I think this is kind of the most important spot to wax because just my wheels are always rubbing, you know? And if you're in a good tail slide, your wheels will be touching. Uh, you know, you don't want your wheels hanging out. That's, I don't know, dangerous. You're not really locked into a tail slide. You want your base plate or I guess, you know, your wheels and your tail to be touching. And that's the safest way. That's how you hold them. But we'll get into that in a minute. Let's get some wax on this bad boy. All right, now we put a little wax on it. Let's uh, test it out with a couple nose slides before we start tail sliding it. Make sure it's all worked in good. so funny like uh the curb is just like really really dry but we're gonna work it in it just needs a break in time so yeah we're gonna just keep on working on uh keep on working on these tail slides i'm gonna get a couple different angles though and we'll do some regular some fakey we'll try some stuff out and we'll get crazy with it but yeah let's get it so this is the angle i typically ride in it oh um I don't know. Like I said, it's all personal preference. People come in every which way. It's just all, all on how much you want a 180 into it, right? So, just want to basically ride at it with uh, some speed and 180 into that stall. It's all about that stall. This tail is honestly a little bit shorter than the, uh, the April board I was just on, so... I definitely can feel it when I'm tail sliding, but it still works. Slap and no slide. Woo! Such a fun trick. I'm filming this angle so you guys can kind of see my approach. And uh, again, get really good at the tail stalls. I keep saying like ride into the tail stall because that's what you're doing. You're just, you're just riding into a tail stall and it's waxed. <laughs> And you're holding the stall for as long as you can while you're sliding. I guess that's how I see it in my head, but... All right, let's try to get another one. Yeah, there we go. I want to try and get some, uh, some to regular. I have a problem with this. I talked about it in a previous video, but keeping my shoulder um, closed is hard for me. I always just want to hold it for as long as I can and open my shoulder and just ride out fakie or pop out fakie. But uh, let's try and hold one and come out regular. <laughs> oh, I mean, it started, my shoulder started to come open there. It's kind of stylish though. So the good thing about learning tail slide to fakie is it kind of opens the door for these two tricks, the tail slide 270 and the tail slide front big spin. Uh, I'll start with the 270. I feel like that one's easier, honestly. 
it's basically a tail slide to fakie and you just whip it go to fake you pop out to fakie and just whip it but this is like advanced again get your tail slides good first and then you can start doing tricks out whoa first try no way <laughs> Dang, that was epic. Oh! All right. I'll call today a win if I get the uh, tail slide big spin first try. I'll tell you that much. This trick always takes me a while. Oh. Well, sometimes. So, let's get it, let's see. Oh. All right, not a bad first attempt. But with this trick, um, probably should explain. So you're doing the same stuff, front tail, into the stall, holding it with your feet here. Uh, except on this one, you need to pop out a little bit. So you gotta kind of level it out right as you're coming to the end, push down, and then just shove out with this foot. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't hit the curb <laughs> and you catch it right away. That's pretty much the goal. Second try all day, right? Easy. Oh. Okay, well that one spun around. It was just behind me a little bit. Oh. That'd be cool to land back into a tail slide. Oh man, that was scary. See that one like, it didn't pop. So it was like real low, but I, would, I still jumped over it. Woo! Oh, did that break my board? No, I think it just smacked the curb. Oh. The curb's getting worked in though. It's the sliding is feeling a lot better. I feel like I should demonstrate one of those 50 tails again. So yeah, this is what I used to do. That. <laughs> it's a good way to, uh, like I said, get the feeling of being in a tail slide. All right. I was just doing all those other ones where I was missing them to show you guys what it was like when you miss them a bunch. So now I'll show you what it's like to to land it. <laughs> oh no, my foot was like hanging off. Back tail for motivation. Oh, whoa, scary. Negative one motivation. Oh, I can't get it to scoop out right. It's all about the scoop. Gotta give it the scoop a loop. Scoop, scoop. There we go. Scoop, scoop.
All right, so I, I guess I, I feel like I wasn't very thorough about explaining it in the beginning, but essentially, like I said, I come up, I come at it about this angle. I don't know, everyone, you can do it differently. I, I, I've done them from this angle, I've done them from over here. Uh, it depends on the spot, but generally if I have a preference, it's about here. And everyone, I guess, will have a little bit of a different preference. Uh, it's all about how much you want a 180 into the tail stall. Obviously, if you come right up parallel, you only have to do like a 90. If you come all the way over here, you gotta kind of swing it around a lot more. But if you come off to the side, what I've noticed is that it pushes you into it more. So you use your grip tape to your advantage and just kind of like push in and let it hold you, let you push your wheels against it. Um, and then again, it's all about your shoulders. If you wanna come out fakey, let them open up, you'll go out fakey. Uh, if you wanna pop out, you just gotta lift down or push down a little bit, push up and it'll pop out. I mean, that's pretty much it. it. There's not a whole lot to it other than to go to a spot, try it. Uh, and the best way to learn how to skateboard is be on a skateboard. You'll just naturally learn stuff the more you're on your board. So if you're having trouble learning a trick or learning just, or you feel like you're not progressing, you know, for instance, uh, just go ride around, be on your board. The more time you're even just pushing around on it, getting more comfortable standing on it, getting more comfortable riding up and down your driveway over and over again. You, you know, you might not feel like you're doing any tricks, but, uh, but you're getting more comfortable, your, your balance is getting better. All those things will contribute to learning other stuff, right? Your, your balance gets better than when you try to get on a curb or get on a rail or whatever, it's easier. So that's my best advice. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna skate a little bit and then we're just gonna wrap up the video with like just some curb skating and just having fun. Uh, got out of work early, so taking advantage of it. But I hope, uh, I hope that helps.